morning, Half Moon Bay High. I'm Angel and this is the Cougar Campus News. Help leadership celebrate the month of Socktober. Please donate new pairs of socks this month. The socks you donate will be given to those in need. Please drop off the new pair of socks to Mr. Jones, Class A-10, or drop in bins in the front office with your advisory teacher's name taped to the socks. Every advisory class that donates 100 pairs of socks will enjoy a free pizza at lunch. The last day to donate is Monday, October 31st. Students, please attend our next health and wellness meeting. We discuss matters regarding health related topics. 4 o'clock to 5.30 tomorrow afternoon in the library. Community service will be given to those participating students. Students, very soon we will be having our first hour of kindness. The theme is Haunted Holiday. Meet by the flagpole in the front of the school during lunch, Thursday, October 13th. We are going to have chalk laid out so that people can draw Halloween-inspired chalk artwork. Join us at lunch next Thursday. The Pumpkin Festival is quickly approaching. We ask students and staff what their favorite food booth is. We're here with... Same. And we want to know, what is your favorite food booth at Pumpkin Fest? Uh, I'd probably say like the pumpkin pie booth. You heard it here first, yeah. We're here with... Uh, Andrew. And what's your favorite booth at Pumpkin Fest? Um, definitely the pumpkin smoothies booth. Those are really good. I'm here with... Callie. Okay. Lily. We want to know, what's your favorite booth at Pumpkin Fest? Definitely the water polo girls pumpkin smoothies. <laughs> what she said. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I'm here with Tawny. And what's your favorite booth at Pumpkin Fest? The Pumpkin Smoothie Waterfall booth. They're the best smoothies there. Yeah. We're here with James. And what's your favorite booth at Pumpkin Fest? I would have to say the uh, Mac and Cheese booth. Solid, solid answer. <laughs> Asian Culture Club meeting is going to happen today in K-12 in Mrs. B's room at lunch. There will be a quick meeting to discuss our plans for the club. Hope to see you there. Hi Cougars! The first CSF meeting will be held today at lunch in Dr. Yerby's room K-4. You can bring completed forms today, but you don't have to worry if you don't have your forms completed because there will be some extras to fill out. See you at lunch Cougars! The Paw Print will be held holding their first meeting at lunch in Mr. Westwood's room, A6. See you there. The No Stress Club will be meeting this Friday during lunch in room A9. Please show up if you are interested in participating in the club. Now, here's a special announcement from the yearbook. Hey Gavin, what's up? You know it would make your parents super proud of you? What would? If you set pictures into the email and phone number on the screen so that you'll be in the yearbook. True! Hey Cougars! Last week, CEF, CTE, and Real Life Learning launched a new series of on-campus career panels. If you missed it, check your School Loop email for a video link to hear from professionals in gaming, sustainable fashion, and character animation. About 80 of you showed up, and thanks to all of you who took the follow-up survey. Drum roll, Mr. Olson! And the raffle prize winners are Sam Jeffs, Miley Posner, Aaron Correa virhen Abigail Santos-Garcia, and Max Hoselick. Winners, stop by Ms. Longacre's office, room G8, to pick out your prize, generously donated by Madden Day Electronic Arts. Also, our school has been invited to participate in an international peace flag project. The peace flag that we co-create will be taken to Egypt next month by sustainable fashion designer Runa Ray in honor of the United Nations Climate Change Conference. You can create your own contribution to the flag on, flag on your own time. Submissions are due to me October 31st. Remember, Cougars, what we do locally can make an impact globally. As usual, check your school loop email for details on how to participate.
the Cougars varsity volleyball team fell to Sequoia in league play. Mia Etheridge had 11 kills and two aces, while Jasmine Standes added nine kills and two aces. Olivia Perez, Foster, and Gabby Harrison combined for nine kills and six blocks. Ava Cardiel also had a great performance with her tough serving and great defense on the back row. The JV volleyball team defeated the Sequoia Ravens in straight sets Tuesday evening. The Cougar offense was led by Aaron Lester with nine kills and two aces, Kayla Andrews with three kills and two aces, and Taylor Geranimos with three kills. Setters were led by Emilio Ortolan with 13 assists. The Cougar defense was led by Kayla Andrew and Kate Billington, each with 15 digs, and Ginger Sullivan with 11 digs. All baseball players not currently playing a sport are eligible for off-season training starting Monday right after school on the baseball field. Wear your hat and bring your glove. Make sure to wear clothes you can move in and bring cleats and running shoes. Workouts will be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Any girls interested in playing JV basketball, please attend on informational meeting next Monday at lunch in a room A1. The answer to our trivia question from this past Monday was four. There are four teachers in the K-Wing who attended UC Santa Cruz. Mr. Santoni, Mr. Paimani, and Mr. Reardon all earned their undergrad degree there, and Mr. Brown earned his master's at UC Santa Cruz. That makes them all banana slugs. Yuck. Congratulations to Mr. McHugh and his advisory period. They were the fastest to answer. And a shout out to Ms. Jansen's advisory class, the second fastest to respond. Now today we have a question sent in from Ms. Coraccini, and the category is TV game shows. Watch your email for the question from me and have a wonderful Wednesday out there. Half Moon Bay High School. Banana slugs. Yuck. Bye now.